Today we're looking at one of the most difficult questions about the Bible's accounts of the birth of Jesus. Matthew and Luke both say that Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Luke says that Joseph and Mary went there because of a census called by Quirinius, the Roman governor of Syria. Here's what he says. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. The Roman Empire did hold censuses during the rule of Emperor Augustus, around the time of Jesus' birth, in other places like Syria, Gaul and Spain, but there isn't any record outside Luke's Gospel for a census in Judea at that time. But there's an even bigger problem. Quirinius wasn't the governor of Syria when Jesus was born. He wasn't appointed until 6 AD. The Jewish historian Josephus tells us that Quirinius held a census then, but that's too late to be the one at the time of Jesus' birth. But Luke specifically mentions that this was the first census. This suggests that he knew that there was a later census, perhaps the better known one in 6 AD. There's a huge amount that we don't know about the ancient world. Historians say that we have less than 1% of the things that were written at the time. So 99% of the evidence has gone missing. So it's possible that Luke is talking about an earlier census at the time of Jesus' birth, but the evidence for it has been lost. The historian Josephus specifically mentions the census in 6 AD because it sparked off a revolt, but there were other censuses that he doesn't mention at all. Although we find it hard to admit, we just don't know the answer about Luke's census. But as we've seen earlier, Luke is a careful historian. Where we can check his account against other sources, it checks out. So doesn't it make sense to give him the benefit of the doubt here, where we can't check? If you'd like to explore this further, why not read Luke's account of Jesus' birth? There's a link in the text with this video.